Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind titan. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, the prestigious Atlantic champion, T-Bar. One of the most imposing competitors in all of WWE, a source of frightening aggression. He claims he will lay waste to a soft society. Unchecked rage about to explode. A truly dangerous man. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 231 pounds, Dave Kim. Not since John Cena have we seen a superstar as resilient and perseverant as this one right here. I could not agree more. Give me a break. Cena may never give up, but you two never give up when it comes to hyperbole. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. The door is shut and locked, no escape. Hell in a Cell begins right now. I don't think anyone in their right mind would judge these competitors for feeling a little terrified at this point. This is a hellacious structure, and this match can punish you like no other match can. That's fair, Corey, but I don't know. They kind of look ready for this, maybe even eager, which is terrifying in its own way. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Setting foot in the ring now. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. This one is headed outside, guys. Upper cuts. Jarring. Where's the haymaker? Oh, God! Great wherewithal on the counter! Oh, man, what an uppercut! Oh, man! Fighting back with a counter! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Punching their way out of that one. He'll take things into the ring. He turns it around on T-Bar. Backbreaker, face first, lethal combination. This could do it! No, he gets the shoulder up. This is going to come down to who wants it more. He has a hold of T-Bar. Is there any life left in T-Bar? Dave Kim. No other way to put.
put it, guys, that was kind of a butt-kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.